Welcome to the HFT Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Paulo Navarro. Today is Friday, March 8, 2013. For the volatility index, the VIX, the dollar weighted put call ratio, on March we have a bullish reading with 3.9 and 31% of the total premiums paid. On April, May, and June we have bearish readings, and the important two are April with 50% of the total premiums paid and May with 10% of the total premiums paid. On the overall dollar weighted put call ratio, we have a neutral reading here for the VIX. Here we have the weekly chart for SPX here. We have a new high for the year. As you can see here, this is a very interesting chart. The yellow line above the price action, that's the all time high here. I think we're going to go and test it next week. I'm pretty bullish here on the market. Uh, Non-farm payrolls was a blowout. Uh, Bernanke is going to keep on printing money. He has no choice. I think we're going to hire. I think we're hitting that all-time high next week. So I'm putting my neck out. I'm pretty bullish on the market right now. I would get long on any pullback if we're not long already. So look, the weekly chart looks pretty good here. And that's what I'm looking so far for the market. Let's watch for SPY. What am I looking at? Which ones are the ones that I'm watching? We are at 155.44. I think we're going to get around 158. That's going to be my target. 158. That's going to be important and even get to 159. That's going to be a little bit too much for next week. But for next week, I'm looking for 157. That's going to be what I'm looking so far for SPY. If we go for the Qs. Here we have the weekly chart for the Qs, 68.77. I'm looking for a test of this highs, and that would be around 70.6, let's call it. I think we're going there next week. I'm pretty bullish on the market. I think we're starting to get more momentum up. We have consolidated here on the Qs. We've been on a very tight range. We're starting to make new highs, and I'm looking for that highs here on within a week. Let's go to IWM, very nice here, up 1% today, basically, and finishing at the highs of the week, very nice here. I talked about not doing that very high, new high, but I'm changing my stance here. I'm bullish now on IWM also, I'm bullish on the market, we were neutral, then we turned bullish on the S&P and the NASDAQ, and now I'm turning bullish on IWM also after this econ data that came out today. I think we're going higher. I'm looking for 94, even 95 as the next target here for IWM. I think it has plenty of room to run. Now let's go to, let's go and look at the, the Dow Jones Transportation Index again, a blowout here today. As you can see here, 1% today. We almost got to 6,200. It has been a market leader and it continues to do so. We continue to be bullish here on this one, but I'm putting more emphasis on the first three that I talked about, SPY, the Qs, and IWM. Now let's go for the GLD, the metals. As you know, I've been bearish on the metals for a while now. Here we have the weekly chart. We got bearish before here, the break of this 55 week moving average and that that was pretty important also the 100 week moving average which was around here as we can see it we broke it um, on Feb I think we're gonna go lower we just need to test here the lows of 150.84 and then we're looking for 148 on the weekly chart I'm looking for a test after this of these lows which are 148.50 those are the levels that I'm watching here. So 149, 148.50. That's our next support here. And after that, we're going to see how it forms there. So we have a couple of percentage points to the downside still on GLD. For SLV, here we have it up 0.34%. Big reversal today. Interesting pattern. I continue to be bearish on SLV. I think we're going to go lower. And the target is around here, 26, this 200 week moving average. So I'm pretty bearish here on SLV. I think it has a big downside from here. Let's go now to the stocks. 
Let's start with Apple. Here we have it. We were up 0.26% today. And finally, we're getting a green week. After three weeks going down, this is the first green week we have. And it's not that bullish here. I'm looking for a breakout of this downward trend line you see here. And then we're looking for around 40, 80, 480. Sorry, that's what I'm looking. It was the previous high. And it's also here, as you can see, the... Um, 100 week moving average so i think we're going there 485 that's gonna be our next target once we break out here i think we're gonna start seeing some momentum to the upside on apple but i've been bullish on apple here for a while now and we've been taking some pain now let's go to google here we have the weekly chart for google and as you can see here today we were down but we have a very nice week breakout you can see here how bullish this chart is. I would be on the sidelines. I'm not in Google right now. Maybe I would get in if we start making new highs. I would not chase it here only on a new breakout. I would get long Google or in case we do get inside the channel we've been trading here. Let's get this channel back here. If we get back to there, I would start making some bullish calls here, maybe to the 810 level. That could be a good entry point with a tight stop and that could, that could be a, a pretty good um, entry point on Google. But basically that's what here uh, what we're seeing on Google. Let's go to Amazon. Here we have an Amazon chart and basically we're bullish today. I'm not in this trade, it has been pretty choppy, up, down, up, down. I think we're going to go and test the highs, but I'm not going to trade it or chase it here. 